It's Alan with B&A Adventures. Um, I am fresh off of a Thanksgiving lunch. Trip to fans kicking in awfully hard, so I decided to come out in the garage and just kind of piddle around a little bit just so I don't get feeling sleepy and want to take a nap. Anyway, I'm just out here piddling around on the Tsunami. Um, I just added in some new uh, RAM mounts and I decided to go with a single mount with a T. But um, we're just doing some work to this because we're going to be getting into some camping here shortly. Me and Bonnie are going to be probably starting on the Cape Fear real soon. We're going to do an overnighter out there. We had a boat for Bonnie. We, uh, we had bought a Pungo 140. We had taken that boat out on the water a few times and decided it's really not what we want. Um, we're looking for something a little more sleeker, a little faster, can carry more load. And that 140 in particular did not have a front bulkhead. So the access hatch in that boat was open all the way through the cockpit. So naturally, if you're going to be doing some touring, you want some areas in your boat that's sealed off from the water so it doesn't get you know, wet. But we decided to go ahead and sell that boat. And we're heading up to Appomattox River Company, which is where I bought this Tsunami. And we're going to be buying a second one for Bonnie. We're going to be loading up the car and hooking on the trailer and heading up to Appomattox tomorrow. And it's basically going to be an unveiling for Bonnie. We're going to pull the cameras out, take them with us and you can see her first looks on the new boat. We're getting the trailer all hooked up, getting it ready. For those of you who never see my trailer, um, this is it. This is a, a little um, Harbor Freight trailer. Basically, I think I paid $289 for it. And then I bought the extra steel and made all the pieces, uh, the cradles, uh, the top rack. I'll do a video on that later on because I've had several people ask me about the trailer itself. The convenience of it is, is that I had a truck and probably about um, three months before we started getting into kayaking, I sold it. Like I was saying earlier, we're about to head up to Virginia to Appomattox River Company to pick up Bonnie's new boat. And she's really excited about it. She's in the shower right now and we're just getting ready to ride up there. <laughs> All right, Bonnie's in the car. We're gonna Hi. go get her new boat. <laughs> so I think we're going to stop and get a bagel along the way. What kind yep. of bagel are you going to get? Better bacon and cheddar on sugar and cinnamon. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> sugar and cinnamon. Jalapeno cheddar. That is a Brugger's bagel. Bacon, better cheddar on cheddar and jalapeno bread. That's how you do it. Bonnie, bacon, better cheddar on cinnamon and sugar. <laughs> uh, that's just not right. Bonnie said her boat's gonna get lonely back there on the trailer all by itself. <laughs> yeah, she's pretending to be sleeping. I only say that because when she snores, it's a lot louder than that. So you gonna name your boat? Yeah, I don't know what yet though. I gotta decide. Right. Any suggestions? Does yours have a name? No, mine doesn't have a name yet. I'm thinking okay. George. Oh, cool. All these boats. We're here. So let's go get us a boat. Well, this is where it's supposed to be. Huh? You work here? Yes, I do. I'm supposed to be here to pick up a kayak. Alrighty, what's your last name? Dale. Dale, is it a canoe? Tsunami. Okay. It's the solar. We're up here at the Appomattox River Company. This is where I bought my Tsunami. Um, good customer service. I uh, enjoyed working with the people. They gave me a little bit of a deal. So decided to come back and get one for Bonnie. And they're pulling it out of stock right now. Alan? You must be Charlotte. I the rudder kit was for the other tsunami, right? The rudder kit is for this tsunami. Oh. Did you want it installed? Bonnie is inside the store. She's looking at your clothing and stuff. Okay. And she wants to look at your shoes. You got a couple pairs of shoes on the okay. wall, the wet socks. Yeah, I'll head over there. Okay, thank you. All right. No, they don't make that in the black. Yeah, I like um, a 10. A size 10? Yes. Women's 10? Yes. Okay, they size unisex, so you'd probably be a nine. Fellas, how y'all doing? How are you? Good. That's the one. That's it. All right. Rest of the 
That's what we were hoping you'd say. Pronounce the name of this company for me one time. Appomattox River Company. Appomattox River Company. Yes, I stumbled on that so hard so many times. It was, right. You guys did be good the last time. That's why I came back. Good deal, good deal. This is the brand new Wilderness System Tsunami 140. It's a 2018 model, new old stock. But we're picking it up for Bonnie. We're going to be doing some camping, and this should do her very well. Uh, a lot of deck space, a lot of hatch space. Uh, getting ready to batten her down on the trailer for the ride back to North Carolina. <laughs> All right, everybody, this is Bonnie's new boat. I need a bottle. <laughs> so what do you think about your new boat? I'm excited. I'm ready to get in it. Let's go to the river now so that we don't have your boat. Okay, so we're fresh back from Virginia. Just got back, pulled the boat into the garage, and we're getting ready to install the rudder and the deck bags. And we're done. Took a little bit more time than I thought it was going to. This was a kit that's made for many different boats. And I know the same kit on my boat had a set of different screws. So I had to modify another set, shorten them up a little bit to make them work. So I had to tap and dye them. I think the result is pretty good. Um, this is the boat, brand new. It's got the deck bags on it. Went ahead and put the ram mount in the middle because she wants something to put her phone on and the GoPro on. And on both of our boats, I added this little cleat. And what this cleat is for is that we have some stern lights. And every once in a while, we'll get an invite to go out to do moonlight paddles, stargazing, things like that. So you wanna have something on your boat that is illuminated. So what I did, I found these online. They're very nice quality stern lights, and they've got this little slot in the bottom. Inside that slot, you can see there's a hook and it's attached to this bungee cord. So what they do is they ask you to just put a cleat on your boat, which is what we've done right here. Hook it on just like that. You have to give, you have to forgive me, I'm holding my camera with one hand, I'm trying to do this with the other. And then, you know, you just cinch it down like that. So what that gives you is a nice stern light that you can use when you go out moonlight paddling at night when you're doing anything. Um, this particular time, I've got a red balloon on top of the white light because it's so bright. Uh, so when we're doing moon gazing, obviously it would blind you. So we put the little red balloons on it. You just roll them all the way down until it covers all the white. But that's a good thing that we use. Obviously you don't want to be out in the middle of the water where there are potential power boats without lights. So that's something that we did. Just thought I'd give you guys the rundown of what we've done. I think it looks good. Let me know what you think. This is Alan with B&A Adventures.